Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out Density from Mammoth Audio. This is a cinematic contact instrument. Everything you heard in that intro video was made from this instrument library and it's got so much more on top of that. There are 1,500 samples to be found and they're all with a focus on cinematics. So there are a ton of one shots that are expertly sound designed that sound great out of the gate but you still have a ton of control over them. And then there are even uh, some playable instruments and some loops inside of there as well. We're gonna get into all of that right now inside of this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is density on the screen. And the way to get to the samples or sounds is to click the menu and choose what you're looking for. And as you can see here, we've got a lot in here. So if I come to hits, for example, not only do we have all of these categories, but we then have subcategories inside of here. So if I go into horror, it will load up those and then I can play them over this key range. So this key range is for these and this key range is for this sample. So that's some of the horror hits. Let's come in here and check out some organic ones. And some sci-fi ones. Oh yeah, just listen to that. Presets will actually load up both banks. If, for example, the sub booms has more than one bank, if I come into the preset section and choose that, it will load up sub booms on both. So the entire key range now will just be sub booms. Hopefully, you have your monitors or headphones on because that one's really subby. Okay, so that's how that works. And in terms of presets, we have all of these. We've got some trailer risers as well. So those are pretty massive and you get quite a lot of each one of these things. So I'm gonna actually come back in here to hits and let's come into experimental. In terms of how you can sculpt these inside of the instrument itself, we do have panning and pitch control of these samples. We have a volume control. We can actually bypass the entire channel if we want to and we have a one button reverse. If I click this, you'll see that the play cursor actually starts on the right and goes to the left. If I click it again, it's going to play normally. We also have envelope controls down here with the ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, and release. And these are on a per channel. So it's not on a per sample, but per channel basis. And that's the same thing mirrored over here on this side. Once we get into the playable instruments and loops, there will be some different controls and we'll get into those in a second. From there, I wanna jump down here to these really cool looking distort and mangle options. These are multi effects that can really make things like insane. Unaffected, that hit sounds really, really good. But let's add some distortion to it. I mean, that gets really distorted. And then mangle is like a distortion, but just doing a little bit different in terms of effects processing. And you can really destroy a sound when you start to crank both of these at the same time up to very high values. Now, the way this works is if this switch down here is on master, everything is going to pass through these two. However, if I switch to channel one and channel two, I actually have independent controls per channel. So for example, right now I'm on channel two. Okay, if I crank up mangle and distortion here, but then drop it down over here, it's not mangled and distorted, and that's because it's using these values for channel one now. So it might be a little bit confusing at first. If it's on master, 
everything will get processed through these two. If you're on channel one or channel two, these are independent for those two channels, if that makes sense, hopefully. If you click Master Effects, you'll actually have your effects inserts where we can add any of these different effects in here. They all sound phenomenal, of course. Easily add some reverb. We have some different impulse responses in here. We can bypass those. If we wanna move it down in terms of signal chain, you just click that button and it will drop down and then we can add you know, our delay or our distortion before the reverb if we want, or we can switch it back. Now we can jump to channel one and channel two, which both get their own set of six insert effects plugins to process the audio, or we can do it over here as well. So we're gonna be pulling up the same menu either while we're inside or by clicking this button, this button, or this button. Boom, 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 okay? Very straightforward. Lots can be done in, by way of designing the sound that you're looking for with what's given inside of here. Though I must say, I've been rather impressed with just the stock sound right out of the gate, and I didn't find myself using too much processing beyond that because it already sounded so phenomenal. So if we come in here, this is the one-shot menu, and of course we have so many to choose from. Let's just put it back on here, unaffected. But if we come in here, we can actually go over to playable instruments. And from here we have instruments which will put an instrument over the entire key range. Okay, so here we go. You can see that the cello now has a larger key set that it can be played over. And this actual set of notes has been pushed up to accommodate for that. And we also have a bunch of different articulations for the cello, for example. Look at all those different articulations. So if I come in here, We get some really, really cool ones too. And we can also do articulation switching down here as well. Let's check out the tuba. And again, just so many different articulations in here. We also have some throat singing, which are very, very cool and unique. So, if, I mean, if we distort that and add effects to that, we can get some really, really cool and really unique, really, sounds. So as I said, we have three playable instruments and then we have a ton of loops in here as well. And they'll show you kind of the default BPM, which you should be going for. My project's at 70, so something like this will be very close to that. And then we have four straight, eight straight, or 16 straight. <laughs> But on things like the guitar, we actually have a bunch of different rhythms to choose from as well. So we have the four, eight, and 16 straight, but we have a few rhythms to choose from as well. And when you have loops loaded, we have a sample offset button, and we also have a velocity curve adjuster over here. So while the one shots inside of here are really heavily processed and just out of the gate, they absolutely sound phenomenal. The playable instruments and the loops are scaled much more back so to allow you to really sculpt and shape those sounds to better fit whatever project you're working on. And that's definitely the right approach to take because now I have much more control. All right, so there you go. Those are the ins and outs of density from Mammoth Audio, now available on pluginboutique.com. Make sure to click the links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.